So let's talk about something that's gaining more and more popularity every single day. That something is weight loss medications. So weight loss medications are for people that have tried to lose weight time and time again, and they fail. They try diet and exercise, um, probably have tried diet after diet, crash diet, everything under the sun. They feel they have tried and did not succeed. So these people are now turning to weight loss medications. So before weight loss medications came out, the only other alternative to regular healthy weight loss um, diet and exercise, uh, was actually getting gastric bypass. So interestingly enough, gastric bypass, if you're not too familiar with it, isn't so much about reducing the size of the stomach, which is what causes people to lose weight, or the, the fact that since their stomach is smaller, um, they do they don't eat as much, not, not as much volume, right? However, it's actually about hormones. The majority of what gastric bypass does is it manipulates hormones. We have many hormones in our digestive system um, that regulate appetite, cravings, um, you know, a lot of different ones that have to do with digestion. Um, insulin, things like that. So what gastric bypass is that they remove a certain part of your intestines or your stomach or something that's going to manipulate those hormones, which is going to cause you to eat less, not crave as many foods, feel fuller, faster. That's all hormone related. But now they have come out with medications that can do the same thing without actually getting surgery. So how many of us have tried weight loss time and time again, fail, but don't want to get a big major surgery like gastric bypass? Well, now here's these medications, right? So as a dietitian, I'm actually, I can see both sides of it, right? I've, I've seen, I've talked to people that have tried everything and they feel defeated and all they want to do is lose weight and they feel like they absolutely cannot do it by themselves any other way. So these people go on medications and then they lose weight, right? So you feel for them in that it's working, it's getting them to lose weight. Um, you know, it helps with things like uh, insulin sensitivity. Some, um, some medications help with that. So it helps to improve type 2 diabetes, things like that. Um, so they re there's a lot of benefits that come out of it, mainly because weight loss alone causes a lot of benefits, right? Your cholesterol will probably go down. Your blood sugar will regulate. Your blood pressure would probably be um, normal so or more normal. Um, so, you know... There's the benefits of weight loss medication. We do have to go over the downside of these medications. Because it's a medication, right, there's always a downside. Um, the first thing is actually it's really expensive. Um, most insurances do not cover these medications for weight loss. So people have to pay out of pocket. Um, the insurance may cover the medication if it is doing something else for you in terms of like a disease. So if you have type 2 diabetes, insurance might cover that medication for helping the type 2 diabetes. But for weight loss alone, it does not cover that medication. So it really gets expensive when you're buying it every single month, right? Um, and, you know, there's many different kinds of medications that have come out now, and some of them are more expensive than others. So that's one pretty significant problem. Um, the other thing is probably the biggest 
downside to me as a dietitian is the fact that yay, someone lost weight, you know, they lost weight off of um, a weight loss medication. That's great. You know, people think I'm going to go on the medication. I'm going to lose the weight. And then that's great, right? I lost weight. And, you know, but you have to think about, did you learn anything from this weight loss? So, if you don't want to take a medication forever, which most of us don't, um, you're going to come off it, right? So if you lose the weight, come off the medication, how are you going to prevent gaining weight all over again? Because you never really learned how to lose it in the first place. So then you become dependent on this medication to stay at a healthy, normal weight. So I guess you should think about how you feel about medications, taking them for a long period of time. Many of these medications have not been studied for the long-term effects. Um, medications that keep coming out, you know, don't have a lot of data on them at all. So that's another risky thing that, you know, you don't know too much about these medications, but we're starting to take them for weight loss. Um, so, so there's that. Um, the other thing, a really important thing is side effects. Um, some of these medications can cause pretty significant side effects. Um, some people may experience mild side effects. Others may experience, uh, much more severe side effects. So then you kind of have to weigh the pros and the cons, right? And that's with any medication. You have to think of what are the benefits of the medication versus the risks of the medication. Um, it all kind of comes back to the same thing is that healthy diet and weight loss is really the most sustainable way to lose weight because that will allow you to actually keep it off. You know, like when I see clients and they lose the weight, you know, 20 pounds, 50 pounds, whatever, that isn't really success yet, right? Success is not only losing the weight, but keeping it off is the biggest part of it. Um, and to be able to keep off the weight while living a normal and healthy life is really the main goal. So there's kind of the idea about weight loss medications, how they work. Are they right for you? You know, you need to think about that. Um, weigh the pros and the cons. But don't forget that healthy weight loss, diet and exercise is really the way you should go, and uh, a dietitian like me can help get you there.